Hello and welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for crafters. I'm Anthony Minnes from Mixed Media. Today's video is all about cameras. What type of camera to go for, what type of plugs to actually look for on the end of those cameras, and what's more importantly, how to add it into OBS Studio. If you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and hit on the notifications button as well. This will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Okay, before we add a camera into OBS Studio, let's have a look at the ports on your computer first of all. Do you have USB-C input and output? Do you have a USB, a normal one, which is input and output? Or do you have an HDMI? Well, the HDMI would be no good in most computers because that is only an output. So you're most likely going to have a USB. So a webcam with a USB plug on the end is going to be absolutely perfect for that. Obviously, you can use an integrated camera already in your computer screen. But maybe you want to be using a camcorder. Well, if you've got a camcorder or a DSR camera, then you need to check it's got an HDMI out port in there. Then you just connect that to a wire, but you're going to be needing one of these, which is a video capture card. This is the bit of hardware that's going to be converting the signal. At one end, it has an HDMI input socket. So that's the socket straight from your camera. And then on the other end, it's got a USB output, which will be plugging directly into your computer. But if your computer has got a USB-C port, then you're going to need to convert that signal by using this particular cable. Right, let's jump into OBS Studio and add that camera. First of all, make sure that your camera is plugged in before opening OBS Studio. So we're going up to Scenes, and we're going to rename that. So right click on your mouse and scroll to Rename, and just rename that to something like Facecam. OK, then what we're going to do is we're going to go down the bottom. We're actually going to add the camera itself. So it brings up this large menu here. You want to scroll to Video Capture Device. OK, so if you click on that, and it bring up this window here, which is the create select source. So again, you just want to name that one. We're going to call this webcam and then click on OK. Right, so it's going to search on your computer and hey presto, there we go. We have our webcam that is already plugged in. So just scroll to the one that you want to use. That's the one that I've actually got as in an integrated webcam. And that's the one that is um, an external webcam. So that's the one I want to select. OK, so you can go up to configure that and you can change near enough every single setting on there from brightness, to contrast, to hue, saturation, etc, etc. You can have a play with getting the right type of colouring on there if you should so wish. But if it gets completely out of control and you don't know what to do, then just click on the default button. Then that will go back to how we imported the camera in, in the first place. OK, let's go and finish setting up this webcam. So scroll across and down to resolution stroke FPS type. Go to custom for that one. Then go to the next one down, which is resolution. You want to find exactly the same resolution as your canvas. In the case of all of my videos, it's going to be 1280 by 720. So make sure that one is in the box. Scroll down again to frames per second. You want that to be matching the output. OK. So in this case, I'm just going to put match output FPS. OK, then we're going to scroll down. You can leave all those ones as is. And then the next one is going to be the audio. Now, with the audio, what you need to do there is click on this one, which says use custom audio device and then scroll down and look for your USB camcorder, which mine is there. So we are now set to go. We have our camera installed. I'm going to be showing you lots more things to do with cameras in another video. But that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If so, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit on the notifications button, which will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching.